Hey, CO family, I'm Pastor Jeff, and this is your CO moment. Today, what I want to talk to you about is praying in faith. Praying in faith is important because it's the key to having your prayers answered. And this is what Jesus said in Mark 11, chapter verse 22 to 24. And I read this. This is Jesus said to his disciples, have faith in God. He says, I tell you the truth. You can say anything to this mountain. And what is a mountain? Your problems, circumstances, sickness, anything that is a problem to you, that's a mountain. Uh, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. But you must really believe it, and that's key, and it will happen with no doubt in your heart. And I tell you that you can pray for anything, and if you believe that, you will receive it, and it's yours. God has so many promises in his word for us, and we have to be able to have enough faith and belief to know that they are for us. But there are certain things that may cause us not to receive these. They're called hindrances of our prayer. And one of them is having doubt. And we read that in Mark 11, chapter verse 23. Now, Mark 11, 25th uh, chapter verse is very important. It says, when you are praying, first forgive anyone that you're holding a grudge against so that your father in heaven will forgive your sins too. Unforgiveness is a key, is one of those key things that will hinder your prayers. So make sure if you have any unforgiveness for anybody, go and by faith and just release and say, you know what, I forgive you because I wanna make sure that I'm lined with the word of God. There are other things like family discords, according to um, 1 Peter the 3rd and 7th chapter. Selfish motives. Selfish motives is this. James the 4th chapter, verse 3 says this. If you ask and you do not receive because you ask wrongly, because you're spending on your passions. If you're believing God for finances, so you can have the best car and the best houses, and there's nothing wrong with that, but that's all you do is for you, 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 then that's a selfish motive. But if you're asking so you can have provision and then also have enough to give, man, that's where God will bless you with your uh, with, with that what you're believing for. This is something that's very powerful to, to me. That prayer in faith is powerful because it's not power is not because of the one praying, but prayer in faith is powerful because of the God I pray to. My faith is in God is the most powerful thing that I know. When I speak these things and I'm believing whatever whatever I might be going through. I'm believing, I'm asking God, I know I'm gonna receive it because of the God I'm praying through. And as long as I know my heart is there, along in line with his word, I'm telling you anything can happen. So how do we pray in faith? Hey, here's some things I'm gonna let you, know, um, let you know for today. And I want you to start practicing. And then this is all pretty much coming out of Mark 11. First, you say it. You know, you, you, you pray the faith requires you speaking and proclaiming what you want. The other thing is to believe it. What are you believing for? Do you have a plan? Do you have a, a vision? You know, of what you're praying for. Your situation, what are you believing for right now and today? You know, with COVID happening and all these things, people are lost their jobs, losing their um, monies and stuff. Are you really, uh, really believing God for that finance? Are you believing God for that healing? I'm telling you, I am. Every time a certain situation comes in, I go right to the throne of God. The other thing is receiving it, knowing that as soon as I speak it, I receive it because I know God's moving in my behalf. Amen. So here's the other thing too. The fourth thing I want you to understand is act on it. And this is in James, um, the second chapter, verse 17 tells us. So if you see it, faith by itself is not enough. You say, ask to the Holy Spirit to show you to act on your faith regarding what you're praying for. If you believe in for a job, if you believe in for a career, don't say, Father, I believe for a career. I believe for a job. Not being specific and go sit on the couch and thinking it's going to come knock on your door. Now, will it happen? Yeah, but there's a thing that you have to do in the cooperation between your faith and your prayers is you need to get in that internet and start applying for a job and say, God, is this is your will for me? I'm believing I'm receiving this job. So when you commit your life to daily prayer and what you need and stuff, no matter what it is, don't wait till you come into the midst of your situation. Don't wait till everything is falling around. Start doing it now. That's how practice happens. When you start practicing and, and, and situations may not be, look, I talk to God all the time and that's how I practice my prayer life. And then when certain things come up, somebody comes to me and asks for uh, to be in agreement with them, I'm believing by faith and I'm receiving it. So this is your CL moment and I'm Pastor Jeff. Until next time.